distance measures and Euclidean distances. In this topic, we are going to understand what is distance measure, distance measure axioms. Euclidean distance. Definition of distance measure. A distance measure on this space is a function that takes two points in the space as arguments and produces a real number and satisfies the following axiom. First axiom says distance cannot be negative, that is, distance between x and y is greater than or equal to 0. Second axiom says if distance equals to 0, it means we are calculating the distances between two points which are at same place, same location or we are calculating distance of the point to itself. Third axiom says distance in x and y and y and x is symmetric. Fourth axiom, distance in x and y is less than equals to distance between x z plus distance between z y and we call it as triangular inequality you can observe the diagram let's understand so if i say distance between x and y this is x plus y this one is between z and y is x and x and z is y if i add x plus y it cannot be equals to distance of a x y even though i am writing x plus y here euclidean distances l1 norm else there are three distances in euclidean distances the l1 norm we call it the manhattan distance what is manhattan distance the distance between two points is a sum of magnitudes of differences in each dimension if you observe this diagram and the red line shows the direct directions between the point, the, uh, the gray, uh, black two points. Or else you can have a zigzag distances. But the green one shows the direct distances, diagonal distances. We don't call it as a diagonal distance, as a Manhattan distance. Manhattan distance, either it goes in one direction and take only one turn. Or else it can take no number of turns. But it follows the diagonal distances. Euclidean distances, we call it as a L2 norm. In this, we take a diagonal distances, and we know there is a famous formula for distance is under root x1 minus x2 square plus y2 minus y2 square. LR norm, also known as a Minkowski measures, here. If we go on continuously increasing the power of R at end, what we are going to get is maximum of x of y minus y of y or all dimensions of I. Let's understand all those distances. Consider two dimensional Euclidean space, the points 2,7 and 6,4. So we are going to find out the L1 norm. You know, in L1 norm, we calculate diagonally. We calculate straight forward and we take only 90 degree turning. So the formula says x mod of 2 minus 6. So we are going to subtract from x coordinate to x coordinate and y coordinate to y coordinate and we add them. So 2 minus 6 plus 7 minus 4. We take a mod of it. So no, these distances cannot be the negative. That's why we take a mod of it. We get a 4 and 3. The total is 7. We calculate the L1 norm. So 7 unit is a distance in L1 norm. In L2 norm, we take a subtraction between them. We take a square of it and we take a root of it. So root of 2 minus 6 plus 7 minus 4. 4 square and 3 square. 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Now, LR norm or L infinity norm gives a distance between these two points max of 2 minus 6, 7 minus 4. So, we get a max of 4, 3 distance is 4. Thank you.